What's up guys? This is Taylor and welcome to part two of my uh, sniper gameplay. If you guys are just tuning in now, basically what I'm doing is um, playing, I played two games with the sniper rifle, TDM, and no matter what I get, got or how I did, no matter what, I threw them up for you guys just so you can see how I play on average. Um, I don't, I used to snipe a lot and I've really cut back on that recently, mainly because, uh, I mean, there's really not that much of a reason to use sniper rifles unless you're going to be like a quick scope trick shot 180 uh, ladder shot YY fiend, which uh, I'm not. I, I do that every once in a while when I feel like it, but usually I like to go for the win. Sorry for that awkward little hiccup sounding thing right there. But uh, anyway, let's get on to the let's get on to the topic for today. Um, my last two days have been pretty sucky. Uh, lots of schoolwork. Extraordinarily stressed out. Um, I got a ticket for my expired license plates from a cop and the like I've had that happen before this is the second time that's happened to me uh, but I was going to get lunch with some friends at a uh, bar and grill and it was only about two or three blocks from my apartment and uh, I decided to drive anyway usually a distance I would walk like there but I decided to drive because afterward I had to go get my uh, parking pass for my apartment complex and so I was like, I'll just drive, save some time, be more efficient with the night. And in the two blocks that it took me to get to the bar and grill, I got stopped by a policeman who then proceeded to take like 45 minutes to give me the ticket. And so I was, by the time I got to lunch with my friends, they had already ordered and had their food. It was just, it was just a bad experience. Um, yeah, so, so that's no fun. And also, schoolwork is it's getting me down. Um... So, that's always a bummer. I, I have a problem with police, and I'm sure if any of you have, like, had experience with policemen, I'm sure you share the same angst that I feel towards them. I just, for some reason, I just get so irritated when I see cops, and maybe it's because I have had some bad experiences with them, not because I, like, actually do bad things, like, I don't do drugs, I've never gotten in trouble for, like, drinking or anything, it's just, uh, I, I can break down, break down into this story, uh, my encounter with the police. Two years ago, I was driving some friends uh, from my friend's house to Taco Bell. It was like two in the morning, and uh, no, it wasn't, it wasn't quite two years ago. I had just turned 18, which uh, if you don't live in the U.S., uh, just so you know, 18 is the legal age here. Uh, that's when you become a legal adult, and uh, there's a curfew if you're under 18, but if you are 18, there is no curfew. You're a legal adult. I had just turned 18, and me and my friends, who were all 18 as well, except for uh, one of my friend's younger brothers who went along, who was 17 at the time, uh, we all decided to go get Taco Bell at like 2 a.m. And me, being the person with the uh, the biggest car, decided, hey, let's go, let's, we'll take Taylor's car. So I decided to drive, and we, it's only about a mile and a half down a road, and then you turn onto a main road, and then you're there pretty much. And as soon as I pulled out of my friend's uh, driveway, there was a cop that passed us going the opposite direction in his neighborhood. Immediately, the, the cop whips around and starts to follow me. And usually, uh, following isn't that big of a deal because it's like, oh, he's just following me, whatever. Uh, cops have to get somewhere too. Maybe it, maybe he has to go somewhere this direction. But uh, it kind of startled me because as soon as he saw a car full of young teenage guys, he he turned around and started to follow us. And I'm like, well, this is crazy. I mean, what's, what's he suspicious about? We, we're driving around. Uh, we're white. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But like seriously, that's I mean, that's what that's what you think. All the police uh, hurting, being racists. But uh, so yeah, I didn't know why they were uh, following us. And then eventually, I'm like, all right, this is getting retarded. He had he had changed from following me to tailing me. And so his uh, the front of his car was right on the back of my car. And so I'm like, I'm just gonna pull into a neighborhood off of this road and wait for him to pass because it's get, making me really anxious. And so I decide, all right, I'm just going to whip into this neighborhood. So I pull into the neighborhood, and immediately the cop flips his lights on and pulls me over. And it's, uh, I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I do? I wasn't speeding. I was going like two miles under the speed limit, just to be sure. And I'm like, there's no way this guy could be, get me in trouble. There's just no way. And then he got up to my window. I rolled down the window. I asked what the problem was, and he didn't answer. He just said, please step out of the car, sir. And I was like, can you, can you tell me what the problem is? He's like, sir, please step out of the car. And then I'm like, you don't have any probable cause. You have to have a probable cause to make ask me to get out of the car before I have to. And he was like, sir, please just get out of the car. This is going to go a lot faster. So I was like, you know what, whatever. I am I guess I'll just waive my inherent American right to probable cause before uh, unreasonable search and seizure. 
And so I walked out of the car. He talked to me for a couple minutes behind the car by myself, made up some BS excuse about how this tiny little bulb uh, above my license plate was out, and so he pulled me over for that. But in actuality, that bulb only exists on cars like that are new, so I guess if you have an old car, you're automatically a disobeying the law or something. It was just completely BS, though. It was retarded. And uh, he calls for backup. So there's one car there. He calls for two more police officers to come, and then he starts questioning me. He says if I broke into a car that evening, if I... Uh, and mind you, this is all while all my friends are still in the car, and I'm the only one out there with the cock. <laughs> with the cock. Well, he's a cock, too, but he's also a cop. Uh, with the cop, the cocky cop, uh, talking to him, and he asked if I broke into cars. And I was like, what are you talking about? No, I didn't break into a car. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, we're going out to eat because we are hungry. And he's like, it's a little late for that, don't you think? And so I told him, no, I don't think so. It's my own decision. I'm 18. I can do as I wish. Uh, and I was really polite at first until he started just berating me and being extraordinarily rude. And then I'd say I just wasn't polite anymore. I started to get really crass with him. And so he kept questioning me. He said that there were a bunch of break-ins on cars of the neighborhood that I pulled out of. And that, uh, consequently, he decided to pull me over based on just hearsay. Which is, first of all, freaking retarded. A policeman should not be able to pull me over because he assumes that I might have maybe done something wrong and he's bored. That's retarded. That's bigotry and that's not fair. That's fascism. Um, anyway, that's, that's a rant, and I don't want to talk about that, but, uh, anyway. So, the policeman. He continued to berate me, continued to question me. Two more cop cars get there, so now it's me and three cop cars. They're all talking to me. They then proceed to go to my car, ask my friends to get out of the car so they can question them. One of the people who is in the car, uh, I didn't know as well as the rest, and so I was like, oh my gosh, what if this guy has something on him? I'm, I'm gonna be in trouble, oh my gosh. And I was so concerned about that. And, uh, it turned out he didn't, thank goodness, uh, so kudos to him, but, um, it just got ridiculous, and we were there for, like, probably an hour, so that our 2 a.m. trip to Taco Bell ended up being, like, a 3 a.m. trip, and we didn't even get to go, because the, uh, the guy just kept us there for so long, and then immediately afterward, he said, I'm gonna escort you home, and I'm like, we can stay out as long as we want, we're 18, and he's like, no, you have a 17-year-old in the car, I'm gonna escort you back to your house, and I suggest you don't leave again. And I was like, oh, this is such a fascist thing to do. This guy's a complete douche nozzle. So, uh, and uh, what was really funny is that the two cops that he called in for backup, I went and talked to them while the main uh, asshat cop was questioning my friends. And I was like, so am I going to get in trouble for this? What's the deal? I asked the other cops. And the other cops were just like, no, this guy calls in BS stuff all the time. It's getting ridiculous. You guys aren't going to get in trouble. He should have never pulled you over. And so, thankfully, that reasonable cop instills some faith in the in the in the justice system I suppose but uh yep that's my cop story I got pulled over for no reason got berated for like an hour uh, accused of breaking into cars my friends also had to get out of the car and uh it, it was just a big retarded ordeal uh so yeah that's why I'm a little bit bitter at policemen whenever I see them because I think that they're all just uh fascist bigots who can do whatever they want but hey who knows Wow, that story took a long time. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that, because, uh, I mean, the best thing about those situations, as long as there's no, like, serious things, is just knowing as you're going through it, like, hey, this is going to be a story to tell. I'm going to have a story to talk to about this. Like, this is something to say later in life. So, yeah, at the very least, I got a story out of it. I didn't get a ticket. Uh, all the cop did was uh, waste away a full, like, hour of my life on a Saturday night. So, but there are worse things. All right, um, gameplay is coming up to a close. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, if you would give this video a like, I would really appreciate that. Uh, leave a comment telling me what you telling me the tongue tied telling me what you would like to talk about in the next video, as uh, I'm always looking for new things to talk about, and I like to keep you guys as involved as possible on my channel. Um, in addition to that, let me know in the comment section whether or not you want to see those F2000 free for alls, because I'd be more than happy to put those up for you guys if you so choose. To want to see them. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. I hope <laughs> hope it all made sense and I was completely coherent when saying it. Um, oh, little side note. I got your complaints about the audio balancing in the last video. I fixed it. It's all better, uh, or at least hopefully it is. So, all right. I'll talk to you guys later.